Spy cameras are small devices that defenders can throw and place on pretty much any surfaces. Just like C4 charges, spy cameras are rather easy to use and should often play an important role in your defending tactics. In today's Zero Hour tutorial video, I will teach you everything you need to know about spy cameras. Quite often underused, those spy cameras allow you to monitor specific places and provide valuable intels for you and the rest of your team. One of my most favorite ways to use the spy camera is to put one somewhere that will allow me to shoot through soft surfaces like doors without exposing myself. The great thing about spy cameras is that everyone in your team can access the live feed, not just the one who placed it, making this gadget one of the best gadgets since it helps the entire team, as long as the camera is placed properly, obviously. Operating the spy camera is fairly easy. Step 1, make sure the spy camera is selected and then press G to throw the camera. Step 2, press 5 to access the security camera and navigate left and right to find the camera. Step 3, get close to the camera and press F to collect it should you want to place it somewhere else. Once placed and you know you're not going to collect it again, I would suggest you immediately press 4 to select your next gadget. Just keep in mind that you have to press 5 to access the spy camera and not G. Otherwise, you will be throwing your grenade, which is a mistake that many people do. So keep that in mind. G to place, 5 to access the live feed. Again, it's really easy to operate the spy cameras and they can really help getting the upper hand on the attackers because they are much harder to find than security cameras. They can still be destroyed though and they produce a small but bright blue light. So try to find smart ways to hide them, especially if you know that attackers are very likely to walk past them. So it's very straightforward to use, so let's talk about tactics. Where are some of the best places to put spy cameras? Here are some of my favorite spots that you too can use when playing Zero Hour. On Terror House onto the ceiling of each entrance doors facing down, or on the stairs foundation facing the entrance door. On Hotel Trouble, behind the curtains in room 3 or 4, facing the toilet. On one of the chest of drawers in conference room, facing the hostage. In the gap between the ceiling and the walls, facing down. On Military Airport, on the pilot seat in the pilot room, facing the double doors. Or on the ceiling above each stairs, facing down. On residential house, in the shelf in the second floor kitchen, facing the bedroom door. On the foundation of the stairs as you leave the kitchen. And in the grandfather clock where you can actually hide the spy cam. But none of that really matters if you do not think about how the spy camera fits in your tactics. You have to think about how it will be used so you can determine the best places for your spy cameras and if you also need someone from your team to check the live feed on your behalf. For instance, if you use the spy camera just to see if there are attackers in a specific location, that's fine and anyone in your team can do that. But if you want to use the spy camera to know when you should be using your C4 charge or shoot through the doors to get a kill, then it's best to make sure that 1. your camera isn't too exposed and 2. that whoever is going to trigger the C4 charge or shoot through the doors is not the same person who is going to keep an eye on the live feed. So keep that in mind when using the spy camera and when placing it. As per usual, it all comes down to your tactic, teamwork and communication. Without those three elements, none of the gadgets can truly be used at their full potential. I hope you found this short zero hour tutorial about spy cameras useful, leave a like if you did and let me know in the comments below how you usually like using the spy cameras. Also please consider subscribing to support the channel and don't forget to take the bell to never miss any of my future videos. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time.